welcome back to my channel and happy, happy, happy new year. This is my first video of 2023. I'm so excited to be in a new year and I hope that yours has started off amazingly. If you're new here, hi, my name's Elle and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I'm a mum to twins, Revy and Rue. They are both asleep at the moment. We had a little bit of a rough night last night because there was a big power cut in the area we live in and it sort of like encompassed a ton of places around us as well. It was so crazy. So we got to bed a little bit later than we normally do and things like our formula machine, all of that just weren't working because obviously they need power to go. So Dave and I thankfully have gas at our house for our stove. So we were boiling water, putting that in like bottles to keep it warm so that we could make the twins bottles through the night until the power came back on. So this morning is just, uh, I'm feeling just a little bit, I don't know, I just need a little bit of time to kind of wake up properly. But today's video, I want to try out some things that I read about online. So with the new year, I know that a lot of people, including myself, you like to kind of try to kickstart healthy habits. And for me this year, one of my goals isn't weight loss, but I know that for a lot of people it is, or it's about getting into healthy habits. That can be really, really hard. But I was reading this news article the other day that was talking about a study that has been done recently that talked about 10 kind of micro habits to sort of stack on top, top of each other. So once you kind of incorporate these into your life, the idea is, is that creating a healthy lifestyle kind of comes easily and if one of your goals is weight loss, these micro habits lead to weight loss naturally because it sort of cuts out the, the unhealthy things that you're doing. Which, hey, like if that's a goal and you can get there by doing these things super easily, then why not, right? A few years ago, I totally overhauled my lifestyle and I just went all in following a keto and low carb diet. So that's what I do. That's my 80% and then 20% of the time I eat whatever. I have been eating whatever over the Christmas New Year's period. And now that it's the new year, I'm getting back into things. I'll do a dedicated vlog all about how I'm getting back into keto and low carb in another video that's not today. But those are the kinds of foods that I do eat. So you'll see those on this video. It is quite a miserable day for summer here. It's like rainy and gloomy. Gotta wake up the twins soon. Dave put them down for their first nap. He let me sleep in because I was so tired after the wee power cut and everything last night. And I'm gonna kick start off with the first micro habit, which they say, drink water. Start your day with drinking water. Something that makes drinking water a lot easier for me is having a really cute, cute glass. I have these ones from Kmart and also these ones, these little short ones from Kmart. So I'm going to drink a glass of water first thing. They say that you should put some water on your nightstand as well so that you remember to drink it. Cheers. That was actually really, really good. One thing that I have gotten into really bad habit with so far this year is not drinking water. I have this giant water bottle from DSW that I got when we were in the States and I love it, but I just don't finish it or get close. So I'll also refill that and get that ready for the day. The next micro habit that I'm going to tackle really, really fast before the 20s wake up is having a protein packed breakfast. The reason that they suggest having a protein packed breakfast is because a lot of people don't include enough protein or any protein in their breakfasts apparently. And not having protein can cause you to become hungry two to three hours later. I definitely, definitely can relate. I used to have oats in the morning before I was keto, low carb, and I would be hungry so, so quickly after eating those, even feeling really full at the time. And that's because there was just no protein. The way to get around that if you are having oats is to add in some protein powder. Um, that kind of, I guess, would help a little bit. But now I like to start off my mornings with lots of protein. There are two breakfasts actually that I love having that are protein packed. But um, today, since I'm short on time, I'm gonna make a classic breakfast smoothie. One of my favorite breakfast smoothies, and you can even add coffee to this if 
you want. I'm not going to today, but it goes really, really nicely. Is the Chog Almond Butter Smoothie on my recipe app, World Club, which is the healthy lifestyle and recipe app if you're interested in looking for some more low carb and keto recipes. We have a seven day free trial, so you can check us out. And we have free recipes as well. But that's the one I'm going to make today. It has almond milk, almond butter, chocolate whey protein powder, avocado, and ice, like whatever, however much ice you like. But the reason why I include avocado or like a healthy fat sauce in there is because that really helps to fill you up as well. And you can even find frozen avocado too, so you can have it in the freezer or freeze your own. It's a game changer. My avocados are still way, 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 way too ripe, so I can't use those in my smoothie. So instead, I'm going to throw in, just to thicken it up, some of this. It's frozen sliced zucchini, and it is honestly insane. It is so good. You can't taste it like it's zucchini, but it just thickens up the smoothie and makes it really creamy. You can also use frozen cauliflower as well. That's kind of just in place of using like frozen banana just adds that creaminess in and that's what the avocado normally does but this works perfectly too when you're choosing a protein powder a chocolate protein powder just look for one that is low carb low sugar i'm always asked what the best keto protein powder is and the answer is there are so many on the market it's just about finding one that fits your budget and also is kind of the lowest in carb but you don't have to buy one that specifically says keto friendly Gosh, i swear i heard revy awake i'm imagining things <laughs> she's not awake <laughs> oh my gosh i just made myself the yummiest coffee if you have tried the starbucks iced i don't know if it's even iced it's the shaken brown sugar espresso drink i love it they make it with oat milk i think at starbucks but you can of course customize it and i just made a version at home i just shared this to my instagram Saved it to my keto coffee highlight. If you aren't following me on Instagram, make sure you go over and check me out. This recipe, oh my God, it's so good. So, so, so good. Delicious. Guys, it is the next day and we are kicking the vlog back up again. Dave is here with me. It's the first time you've seen him in this vlog. G'day, g'day. How, how, how are you? <laughs> What's your advice for 2023 for people watching? Do the dang thing. Do it. Just just do it. Just kick into it. Just do it. Whatever you want to do. <laughs> do that. He sounds like he's drunk, but I promise he's not <laughs> drunk. He's not drunk. Um, hasn't had a sip of alcohol today. We are tired though. We're probably like delirious tired. And that is why yesterday's vlog, we, I started with Hisna Raw, but things just took a turn. The babies aren't 100%. They're a lot better today, but yesterday they were just real off. Weather was bad. Guys, look how beautiful it is today. You can see the blue skies and sun through our sunroof. So we're kicking back up. And that's actually another one of the tips that came out in the study was it's really important that if you have a day that doesn't go to plan or you just make choices with foods that you would rather not have eaten that you bounce back and not only that you bounce back but you bounce back the very next meal so don't be like oh I'll just wait till tomorrow I'll just wait till next week I'll just start in the next month you know like the longer you delay it yeah the further out it gets that's a really good habit and something to kind of get into is stopping food guilt and just cutting it short because it doesn't help you and serve you in any way and it just kind of prolongs you getting to your goals and getting started. So, yesterday we drew a line under it and we started afresh today. Dave and I have some sparkling water that we're sipping on, enjoying on the way to get groceries. <sighs> that sound. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to you. Babies are in the back. Guys, they look so cute today in their little outfits. I'll show you once we get to the supermarket. We're gonna do groceries and we're just gonna keep kicking through these habits because these are all easy ones for you to add into your routine that have major, 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 major impact.
Hi, Jack. Show me your outfits. How cute. Look at these shoes. I'm <laughs> <laughs> trying to do this. <laughs> One of the biggest game changers for me is doing a little micro meal prep, which is exactly what I did then. I just chopped up some vegetables, sometimes I chop up some fruit. The babies and I both love to snack on cucumber and I also love to snack on raw broccoli, like dipped in ranch, it's so good. But if I don't have it in the fridge ready to go, then I'm less likely to have it and I'll look for something else, like a different kind of snack. So when you do your groceries and you bring things home, as soon as you can, do a little micro meal prep and just kind of chop up some things, prep things, have things ready and easily accessible for you, just to make it so that there's no obstacles for your future self to grab a healthy, yummy option. Now that I've done that, I'm gonna get on to dinner. Dinner tonight is full of fiber. If you've followed me for a while, you know that I follow a low carb keto diet. The recipe I'm making tonight is keto, but you could customize it to be less keto if you wanted and add some kind of noodles that are like, I don't know, like actual rice noodles, that kind of thing. I am making summer rolls, but keto style. So summer rolls are like, normally have a rice paper outer, but instead of rice paper, I am using a vegetable, a leafy green, which is really important, number one, to try to increase your intake of leafy greens because they're so, so good for you. So rich in different antioxidants and vitamins and minerals. It's something that I'm always trying to work on. But this is the tip that was included in this study that helps people lose weight accidentally just by trying to incorporate this habit into their life more. And that is looking for foods that are higher in fiber. Fiber is amazing for a few reasons. Number one, it fills you up. Number two, it helps with your digestion. Those two things combined only help you in your weight loss goals if that's a goal for you. Keto just so happens to be actually really high in fiber because the carbs you have, which you do have carbs, are veggies primarily, or nuts, or things that actually have an amazingly high fiber intake. So look for ways in which you can increase your fiber and reduce your simple carbohydrate intake. If you're not keto, if you're not low carb, that could be just as simple as instead of grabbing white bread, go for wholemeal or like a, um, a seed loaf, that kind of thing. Something that has more fiber in it because those things with fiber added in honestly will help you feel so much fuller for so much longer. But let's make dinner together. I'll show you how I'm doing it. Super easy, super yummy. You just need your choice of fillings. a little look at my ingredients that I'm going to throw into my summer rolls. I've just got some slaw, shredded cabbage and some carrot. There's also a bit of spring onion in there. Sliced avocado, sliced cucumber and then tofu. This tofu I pressed just to get all of the liquid out to make sure that it's so good able to like take on the flavors. There's just some sesame oil and a little bit of tamari pan fried and then my summer roll wrappers are these bad boys, which is silver beet or Swiss chard. If you have access to that would work great. I just blanched it really quickly, but now I'm gonna roll. To assemble your summer roll, add in your ingredients. Once you've got all of your ingredients, roll it and try to keep it as tight as possible. Rolling and tucking as you go. And then once you get to the end of your leaf, just cut down the middle and ta-da, you've got your summer roll. Yum, that was so, so good. So that's dinner done. I just had to taste test one, make sure that it worked with the sauce. Oh, it does. 
because I tried all the ingredients separately and then the sauce separately, but I hadn't tried everything together. So we have a big plate of that to share once Dave gets home. He's actually out marathon training at the moment. He's wanting to run a marathon in a few months time. So he's on a big training plan for that. I am going to get on the treadmill, do a little bit of exercise and just move my body a little bit because even though I've been active today with the babies, I just am craving some kind of exercise too. I don't know if you guys have seen my standing desk or not. I can't remember if I've shown this in an earlier vlog. This is something that I've shown definitely on my Instagram story. So if you're not following me there, make sure you come over and say hi. My dad actually custom built this for me. I love it so much. It's got the double height, which is really handy because I can put work stuff, materials down here that I'm not actually using and then bring them up here. And this is my little standing desk out here in the office. This is where I come and work during the day for a little bit when I can. It's awesome to run my laptop out here and take calls and do all sorts of things on our treadmill. I just walk really, really slow, which is perfect. As I said earlier in the journal, there were a couple of tips around exercise. One was recommending that you do a lunchtime walk if you can. The reason they suggest a lunchtime walk if possible is because it's all about trying to find ways where you can add in a little bit of movement every day. You actually don't have to physically exert yourself or stress super hard about finding exercise, time to exercise, just any way you can increase it, the better. So lunchtime is a great way. When I was working in an office, I used to go for a morning tea walk. We'd have like a morning tea break and a friend and I, we would both meet and just walk around the block and it was great because we got that much extra movement in that walk around the block. I loved it so much. And this standing desk for me, when I am able to make it out here and work from here, it's all extra movement. Even if you can't get a lunchtime walk in, any exercise you do, try to make it fun. <laughs> really important to listen to a podcast you love, watch a TV show you love, listen to an audible that you love of a book, just anything to make exercise fun, do it. You can even go on YouTube and find really fun free workouts, dance workouts, Pilates workouts, whatever you're into, they exist on YouTube. Look for fun things that keep you enjoying it, keeping it fun, keeping it entertaining for you, because exercise shouldn't be a bore. Who's back from his training run? Did a run. And it went really well, you were saying. It went great. Yeah. You're 11, 11 Ks in the bank. And yeah, thinking about maybe doing a half marathon or marathon later in the year. So just take it slowly and yeah, feeling good. That's awesome. Dave came home and he was like, oh, whoa, is this dinner? It show is. I want you to try, see what you think. I'm so excited for this. It's tofu summer rolls, oh. but keto style. Wow. You like? Mm -hmm. Yay! Oh my gosh, as he's eating now, I just realized something I forgot to put in them. I forgot to put in mint. I got fresh mint to put in them. I'll cut it up anyways and sprinkle it on, but. Even better. Even better. Dinner time for us. Mm. It's almost time for bed, and one habit that I try to make sure that I follow is getting out my workout clothes for the morning so that they're laid out and ready to go. Because I work from home, sometimes I find it's just easiest if I actually just get up and put my workout clothes on right away, either if I'm going to the gym or if I'm just even working from home and just going to be walking away on the treadmill. The fact that I'm wearing my workout clothes makes it so much more likely that I'm actually going to get a workout in and makes me a lot more accountable for that. So it's a good habit to get into, especially if you're wanting to try to kickstart a morning workout. So tired, I'm just about to head to bed, but before I do, two last little micro habits to cover. One, let's do this one together because I've been meaning to do it for so long, and that is clear out any junk food that you have. We have a few things still left over from when we had visitors staying with us. 
from New York. My brother-in-law, his wife, and our nephew was here to have these snacks. I'm actually just gonna throw these away because they've literally just been open since they left. But I keep seeing this bag and wanting to eat the chips. If you have food in your house, junk food, sugary treats, whatever, and it is, when you see it, it kind of makes you want to have it. Moving it out of sight kind of breaks that cue and that brain receptor telling you that you want to eat it. So you're less likely to crave it and you're less likely to overthink it and be constantly thinking about those snacks. If, like this one, it's been out for way too long, chuck it out finally, or move it somewhere where it's out of sight because it helps so much. And I know that not everybody lives alone. You might live with other people who have their snacks visible. If you can move them to a different place, they're not so visible, that definitely can help. Bye chips. <laughs> it was nice knowing you. Uh, I've wanted to eat them just for the sake of like eating the food because I hate throwing things away, but I don't need to like finish. Okay, already that feels so much better. I can see in my pantry and I'm not looking straight at those chips like I was all the time. And the final micro habit is sitting and sticking to a bedtime. This is something that I'm trying really hard to get into the habit of this year, which is why I'm gonna go to bed. But the reason why bedtime and sleep is so important is that when you are overtired, honestly, that really can make you hungry and wanting to eat more and more and more. Restorative sleep is essential because not only does it keep your metabolism humming, it also keeps your appetite at a normal level. Ideally, you'd want to be aiming for seven to eight hours a night. You guys, I am not getting seven to eight hours a night every night. I'm just trying to do the best that I can right now with my twins. <laughs> definitely sleep deprivation causes all kinds of issues. It definitely will zap your willpower and it will make those cravings even more intense. So try your best to get as much sleep and as much rest as possible. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. The 10 little micro habits that you can add into your routine to start 2023 off with a bang. And of course, if you want to really start 2023 off with a bang, come join our World Club Challenge, which is starting on Monday, the 16th of January. It's gonna be so amazing, so fun. I can't wait to do it. So many of you are already signed up. There's a link to Wild Club in the description box below if you wanna come over and check it out. And we do have a 20% off sale at the moment with the code NEW YEAR, all in capitals. So make sure you use that code if you're a new member to take advantage of that awesome deal. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. The support means the world to me. And if you're new here, make sure you hit subscribe because I upload new videos every single week. I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye.